Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. So the third image is here and here. Uh, this is exactly uh, the kind of, um, you know, the emotional connection. I think people can really connect with Lumi Voce and what we do. Uh, this is uh, really an answer to the need that we really need now for all the people that are hurting. I think uh, because of COVID, there's just so much pain. Many of us has lost loved ones and many uh, know someone had lost a loved one. Mm -hmm. And because of the COVID, there's so much stress, so much pain, and so much concerns with health. Parents are stressed because kids were locked down. So there's just so much pain. And so I have rallied up a, a group of uh, world-class global musicians to offer a concert, a virtual and free concert for all to listen to the beauty of music, especially chosen for this purpose and to heal together. And this is going to be on December 19th. And we have musicians come from the US, come from Brazil, from Hong Kong and Spain. And we have really just sublime music chosen, healing music from Brazil, from China, from Estonia, from Germany, Serbia, Spain, UK, and US, just extremely directly to your home. Mm -hmm. And it is free. And this event, it's on Eventbrite. Anybody can register and get a free ticket and then tune in to the YouTube channel. If, if I can, I can just let the um, the listener in a little bit. Um, yes. So, for example, it's it's essentially it's a it's a poster again, but this time it's it's an invitation to it's it's the banner says hear and heal through the beauty and power of music, and I I agree with you that this, especially during COVID, for the people who aren't particularly affected, this is just a strange time. But as you say, there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of pain for a lot of people. And so in this poster, it's, it's what you see is it's like in a sort of old forest. It's an illustration on what seems to be somebody, like a musician sitting on his uh, case of his, uh, I guess it's a cello. He's playing in this sort of forest. He's illuminated from the top by a spotlight, which is a very kind of, it could be the sun, but it, it's just a very... A soothing image. Essentially, it's a it's like a it's a poster inviting people. Which I really hope that whoever's listening to this will tune in to the show. Now, will the recording be available afterwards as well? Yes, but I think there's nothing uh, beats you know. Then you get to hear the musicians tune in from globally yeah. and talk about why they have chosen that particular piece of music at this time. Yeah, You're right, Ren. I mean, this is a poster in the forest, a cellist there playing with an elk on the left-hand side and wolves on the right-hand side in behind and then a an, an owl on the tree all listening to music. And this is what we are, um, I think, uh, Lumi Voce is all about. It's about healing. It's about emotional connection. It's all about also uh, for the people, but also for wildlife and the planet. So mm. we want to bring these um, beautiful emotional connections, connect us back to nature, connect us with all living things, and connect with one another and to heal together at this very, very difficult, strange time. So I have a question for you. In terms of, we, we all in our lives get guided, directed, uh, channeled in directions that we can't, we don't know at the time, but over, over time you look back and you can sort of make sense of it, right? So uh, you said your father is a renowned composer 
And clearly, music and sound was part of, of your life just growing up. Now, can you think of a, of a time, a, 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 a sort of a core memory where you were in the wild and there was something about the soundscape that really grabbed you, grabbed your soul, grabbed you by the heart, like really moved you? Well, that is the whale experience that I told you about. Mm. Uh, you know, the, the, the hear the, the sound of the whale and then see the mother and the calf very close by in Mexico. That is a soulful experience. But also, I have to say, to just see the iceberg in Alaska and see them breaking, mm. okay? That's another sound you would never forget. I mean, if you are like me, a musician, you are tuned in to the sounds around you. And of course, I'm always, you know, bothered by all the noise too <laughs> in our yeah, lives. Definitely in Hong Kong, yeah. <laughs> yes, but when you are in the forest, when you are in that noiseless environment but full of ambient beautiful sound of nature and wildlife you hear i i still remember at night when we were in yellowstone hear the wolves howl wow. and under the moonlight and you see their silhouette that is just something those are the kind of moments you would just never forget mm -hmm. because it will stay with you forever and I am, as you can see, Ren, I am, when it comes to music, when it comes to wildlife, I am just, um, I can talk all day long. <laughs> well, it's, it's, I think what's inspiring is that you are inspired by it. You are moved by it. And, you know, I think, I think when, for example, just now, we, here's what I, what I, what I find really um, kind of just impressive, but more than just the word impre impressive is such a small, cheap word, but it's in the sense of, Okay, so in your experience, in your life, in who you are, with the training and the, 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 the sophistication and the, the, the sort of the understanding of music and sound, we'll talk, and before, you just very easily began to sing. And one of the things that I, I find everybody should at least experience in their lives is to be in a room with a professional singer who kind of comes out and sings at full voice like something classical or whatever and it's where where the where for example I, I I've seen a photo of you and you're not a humongous person like you're 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 not very big but you have a big voice yes well yeah well this do you have time to talk about vocal technique yes <laughs> but listen <laughs> all we, we're just talking we're just talking it's all good <laughs> Well, uh, sound production is, you know, you have to be efficient. Um, uh, many of the great singers are not necessarily a big people. So the sound production, it really, uh, if you have the proper technique, it come from it with a proper breath support. It, the sound production is very efficient. You do not need a big person to have a big voice. Hmm. And uh, because it's all about the efficiency of sound production, we're, we're not going to get into <laughs> the nitty gritty of vocal technique because it will be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, what I do want to just say a word about this uh, hear and heal, hear as in listening, mm -hmm. hear the sound, and to heal together, is that we have an, an incredible lined up of world-class musicians, many who are great award-winning uh, musicians in the world. We we have Brazilian pianist, composer, Catarina uh, Domenici. We have soprano, Susie. We have pianist, Draskovic, who is originally from Serbia, now lives in the U.S. We have Kitty Chong and Julie Kwok from Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And we have Paco uh, from Spain. Uh, we have Jennifer, uh, a violinist, uh, award-winning violinist from U.S. And we also have and a William Goodwin, again, 
we have two incredible jazz uh, musicians from New York, Chris wow. and John, and we have one of the the a pianist of our time, really Rebecca Pennies, uh, mm -hmm. who had over six decades that just incredible beautiful playing we have justin and hong kong and myself so mm. the lined up is incredible i really hope that uh, this is a great opportunity for anybody who wants to hear some special music if i could run just play a little bit of just a few 10 20 seconds of sure. soundtrack from a pianist rebecca pennies great That was great. Thank you. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Shooting it raw. 